This is Twit. So, um, and while we're on the topic of anyone can make a mistake, some are more embarrassing than others. Uh, Ash, uh, Apple issued an update to its High Sierra desktop OS last week, last Thursday. Uh, it was, they called it the Mac OS High Sierra 10.13 supplemental update, which repaired two dangerous bugs in that OS, both which exposed user passwords, but in different ways. In the first case, if you had created a new APFS, that's the, that, that's the Apple file system, with an encrypted volume under High Sierra, the, um, and, and then set anything at all as the password hint. So you know how we how you create a password, and oftentimes you're you're offered the opportunity of giving yourself something that would mean that would be meaningful to you to help you remember, hopefully, which of the billion you have. Even better, you can't remember it, and you 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 stored it in a password manager somewhere. On the other hand, if you can't get into the <laughs> into your encrypted volume in order to get to your password manager, that won't help you. So you'd have to store it somewhere else. But the point is, if you use the hint feature, then whoops, your password itself was stored as the hint in plain text. Oh, that's terrible. <laughs> it's not good. That means anyone, I mean, it's like, Wow, how did this get by QA? How, I mean, I just yikes. Uh, that means anyone could have gotten your password simply by clicking on the show hint button. And they really should have just relabeled it. Show my password. Show password. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> uh, so even and and I mean, and so yes, it's a bug, obviously. Um, somewhere the intent was to take what was in the provided hint field and copy it into hint storage. Instead, they, would, they used the wrong variable. They copied the unobfuscated, unencrypted, you know, I'm sure they take the password and like hash it like crazy iteratively in order to do a really great job of securing it. Unfortunately, they took the pre-obfuscated, user-provided plain text password and stored that in the hint record it's Whoops. more embarrassing than dangerous um well i'll tell well, you why first of all somebody obviously okay. have to have physical access to your system true but but also now renee was talking about this on mac break quickly that, that is remember. what you're protecting you you are protecting physical access to your system yeah you're so it's this, file fault this it's protecting the hard this, encrypting the hard drive but i think it only showed up on a second encryption partition not the first because in order to see it you'd have to be able to boot the first run the disk utility and then you'd get the password for the second one that's okay. that's what i think renee told me so I may be misquoting okay. this. Anyway, it's not a well, – I mean, somebody has to physical access to your system. Well, but remember, that's what it's protecting. Right. No, that's so why you no encrypt. No. It's right. no protection for right. what it's protecting. Right. So, yeah, that's a but, mistake. Yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> definitely. So and, – and what's a little disturbing is that it's, it's quite burdensome to recover from that. You, you yeah, have, to have to install the 1013 supplemental yeah, update. Yeah. Then you, cre you have to create an encrypted backup of the data in your affected APFS volume. Then you open the disk utility, select the encrypted volume in, in the sidebar, unmount the volume, then erase it, then uh, type in a, a new name for the volume, change it to APFS and then back to encrypted in order to sort of like flush things out, then enter a new password in the dialogue, now under the fixed system, um, add a hint if you choose, this time it's safe to do so. Um, then you apparently click erase and then you watch it do that. Then once it's done, you restore your data from the backup to the volume. So. Yikes! It would have been 
nice if there were some way to automate yeah. it, but I guess there's nowhere to put that data right. while it's doing all A of this. A lot of people won't be bit because it shows up in the add APFS volume command in Disk Utility. So mm. it isn't for your primary volume. If you turn on, okay. if you turn on File Vault... And you only have one. Yeah. Yes. Which is how most people do it. Very rarely do you add a second APFS volume and then encrypt it. And right. the good news is you do it probably on an external drive, so this isn't as laborious of a fix as it sounds because you'd have a second external drive move it over blah 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 but and that all and that does also explain kind of how it got loose yeah i mean how it yeah. got you know it's it's a more subtle bug than if not it was many the people primary. would use this right 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 